Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to Sin Stuff. Hang on a second. Okay, you ready? All right, so I need a number between 1 and 16. No, it's for a video. 11? Okay. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's the JD800. Today we're doing a video on the JD800. Coming up. All right, this is not going to be a, a serious tutorial or anything like that. I'm just going to mess around and see what we can come up with. Um... I'm just going to use some of the, the presets that are in here. I'm not even going to try and... Well, we'll see what... We might have to change some things, but... Oh, I love the pad on the JD-800. It's very aptly called Massive Pad. Cool. Crystal Roads. It's a very dated sounding sound. Synthedelic bass. That's sick. Portamento, we'll take that off. All right, what can we do with that? Let's see. Can we... What else do we have? I've used that sound before. I recognize it. That's a very 90s sounding uh, sound. What if we... All right, so there's a pad on top of that. What else can we use? Hmm, maybe. That's, oh, that's kind of a bit much, isn't it? L.A. midi piano. Oh yeah, that's what...
So we got that sound, and what else we got? Another pad. Well, that sounds kind of cool. Let's do that. All right, so let's turn off the uh, click track. What other sounds we have in here? Nice clap. That's right, the JD-800 has aftertouch. I don't know, can we use something with that? Let's see what it sounds like. Unfortunately, every time I play with this looper, what I end up with is pretty much what you're hearing here is just a, a you know, one bar loop that just repeats and I layer over top of different sounds. And yes, you can bring them in and out. And then you can make changes as you go. So it's not really very musical. It's it's interesting for working out a bass line and then you can just layer some sounds on top. Um, but very rarely do I start something on the looper that actually becomes a song. Typically what I use this looper for is just, well, screwing around like you see me doing here today. And really just experimenting with sounds and seeing what sounds work with other sounds. and And as you can see here, I'm not doing any sound design. I'm just picking some presets to hear what things sound like. And the 
GD800 does have a lot of great sounds. And I've used this in quite a few different songs. As, as I'm going through these, I'm like, oh, I remember this. Oh yeah, that's from this song. I could do this all day long. In fact, I have. Okay, I kind of like that one. I might use that again. This is called MIDI guitar. It doesn't sound like a guitar to me, but maybe it's useful. Kind of a nice sound too. These old 90s digital synths, the top end is almost painful at times when you really get into the velocity. It's an emulation of something, but there is nothing in, in the real world that has those high-end harmonics. It's a very unique sound that is limited to digital synthesizers. That's why it was so unheard of back when these first came out. Ooh, I like that. Alright, I am going to end this video because if I don't, it's going to be two hours long with me just messing around playing sounds on this JD-800. But I do love the synthesizer. I really need to get back into it and start creating some more music with it because the sounds that this thing cre creates is really otherworldly and amazing. And I haven't even got into the, the memory card. These are all just the internal presets. I have a whole separate uh, card in here that has its own set of uh, 64 presets. Uh, which maybe we'll have a look at another day. If you like what you saw here today, and if this is of any interest to you, it's probably not. It is to me, but probably not to you. But if it is, hey, click like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it when you do. It helps me out. It helps me get the videos out to much more people. And uh, if you have any suggestions, questions, corrections, anything at all, please leave it in the comments section below because I do read all those things. And I appreciate all the interaction I get from you guys. Once again, please, any ideas, any requests you want to see on my synthesizers, please let me know. And that's it. Thanks for watching.